How to get millions of hits, cash, perks, and TV broadcasting views. Introduction. The internet is a major asset for your personal business and popularity. If you want to promote yourself and your ideas, then social media is the best platform. In the last decade, many companies have created great ways to connect the World Wide Web and traditional broadcast media, like television and radio, together to make you very successful. In this publication, we will show you how to gain internet and social media popularity with your videos, images, and pictures. You will also learn how to get millions of hits plus broadcast TV views from your original or licensed content. When I became popular with my original video, images, and pictures, I felt that everybody should have the opportunity to feel that adrenaline rush. Just imagine the feeling you'll get when your creativity becomes popular, or better yet, goes viral. I will share working tips on how my videos, images, and pictures got millions of hits on social media, the internet, and consistent views on traditional HD TV and radio. I will also share how I was able to earn extra cash and perks that allowed me to not only pay the bills, but to start a social media content company. Although you can earn a lot of cash by using social media platforms, remember, that's not the most important part. Being able to create good content again and again and to become reliable to people that depend on you makes you much more successful. According to research, well over 4 billion people are active on the internet and social media apps. This is half of the world's population. And this number will only increase. Imagine your videos, images, pictures, or audio content getting consistent views, likes, loves, and shares from a small percent of those people. Imagine your content being regularly watched and downloaded by your subscribers and followers. Imagine using your passion to get popularity and earn extra cash. This can be done. But remember, with billions of people using the internet, millions of them want to share their content on social media, gain popularity, and earn some cash as well. This is why you must stand out. Understand, there are a huge number of video clips and content online. Some of them may have been better than your favorite video with a billion hits, but they just didn't gain popularity. Why? There could be many reasons, but everything comes down to timing. With a few techniques, which include sustainable timing, consistency, good promotion, excitement, and others, your videos, images, pictures, and audio content can gain more views, popularity, and cash. Next. I will share some of the major steps that I use to get popularity on and offline and how I got millions of internet video hits, picture views, shares, and TV broadcasting views. Get Featured Get Featured Content Displaying content enhances community participation by attracting traffic to premium content within the community. Community managers can direct content features to specific groups or the entire community with specific feature date time ranges for scheduling and expiring discrimination and providing a custom image to help attract attention to the feature. As a personal branding business person, writing for key publications can take you from being another freelancer to being influential in your field. It can enable thousands of new leads to showcase your content and can grow your followers like crazy. Plus, it builds your credibility and increases your chances of posting elsewhere as well. A common problem that most digital publishers encounter is the ability to highlight and select specific portions of content or messages to emphasize their audiences. This problem is exacerbated if you manage many thousands of content from different sources around the web and user-created content from social networks. In an ocean of sounds, it's often easy for the waves to sync your private message. It's important to keep your audience engaged with new dynamic content while keeping your message front and center. Visual marketing and marketable Instagram feeds have become a hot trend among online stores. The reasons are clear in the era of social media and influencers. More and more consumers are discovering new products directly from their social media feeds. So what better way to take advantage of this behavior and then bring it directly to your store? 
As the mountain of digital content grows, all websites are searching for capabilities that help them provide dynamic and even personalized online experiences for their visitors. Commercially oriented sites need this potential in order to be able to market content and products and services and gain more effective income from them. If you have been browsing the web for any period of time, you will finally notice that a very popular and very useful tool that many websites use is premium content. This is useful in a variety of ways. Of course, each post is not ranked equally. There are different layers. So instead of shooting for the big players right away, try identifying three posts that you think are in the middle class you want to write about. If you don't know the post you're looking for, go to buzzsumo.com and see which posts get the most traffic in your space. Buzzsumo will show you posts that post content on related topics, where it is shared most, and what type of people are writing it. Spend some time on each of these posts to see if the central topics covered cover your topics and check out their other authors. The better you feel about what is happening in the post, the more chances you will be accepted as a contributor. More and more, website visitors find that the search feature is the fastest way to navigate the vast amount of content on the site to find what is most relevant to them. Featured content enables sites, blogs, to engage in a virtual dialogue with visitors as they search and navigate the site. A site that uses premium content actively listens to visitors' activities, such as searches and clicks, to display contextually relevant content that matches visitor interest. Another reason why it's so important to check premium accounts is because followers really like the style of the photos. Since your main goal of getting featured is to get more followers, you should stick to the same pattern. If your photos are cool and flag, your chances of getting more followers are high. You can also pair up with influencers and offer common contests or promotions. You can take a stunning photo, add captions, tag the effect, and let people know about the competition. When the effect displays the image on his account, he promotes your account to his followers. Use hashtag contest or hashtag promotion when posting an image to make sure people find it easily. You can also ask influencers to repost specific photos from your Instagram account. This way, you can control the aesthetic and the message. One of the most important things to do is to make sure you always post high quality content. These will be well-formed pictures with good lighting and fit your style. By posting high quality images, we hope that your business also stands out when account holders look through their tags. To share your photos on feature accounts, you need to make sure that you are posting appropriate content. That is, there's no point in marking a pane if it posts horizontal pictures. So always make sure that your content is appropriate for the account you are tagging. Most accounts will also have a hashtag. Like these, my conversations are hashtag best city breaks and hashtag travel and destinations. Account administrators will then verify these hashtags and use them as permission request to republish the image. What would you do if you got a recommendation? Make sure you know deeper and you might think, what is this? Is this good? What if there was a good response from a lot of people? Would you take it? <laughs> of course, why not? Just like these premium content areas, your visitors will recommend articles that have more value to read more. Please ensure that the article should have more value and remember that it is important to make your criteria. It will help you keep the visitor's mind that reading these pages is not a waste of time. Make memories. Make memories in your videos and web content. Video is a powerful way of content to tell stories. It can have a major impact on the success of your promotions and content marketing efforts. It also serves as an effective way to connect with people and build more satisfying and deep relationships between you and your target audience. This seems to be the most obvious point, and it is, but it is also very forgotten. No shortcuts. Shareable content is always high quality content. If you focus on superficial topics and don't invest enough time in researching or creating content, you can't expect your followers to become interested and engage. Video has grown a lot in recent years. The audience searches for content options, searches for diversity, and the communicative capacity has given publishers new ways to differentiate themselves and distinguish from noise. 
Video is also an amazing asset for improving conversion rates. Studies have found that once embedding a video on your landing page, you can increase your conversion rate by up to 80%, while adding a video to your email can increase your click-through rate by a staggering 200 to 300%. People who watch video, 64% are also likely to buy a product online. And the amazing stats continue to favor the video and play it. Video also performs great in all kinds of formats. Whether it's a social media video, ad or introductory clip, users love watching online videos. A third of all our online activities are spent watching videos. It not only increases conversion rates, but also improves interaction on social media, your website, and your blog, and can help you stand out from others. Before creating or sharing content, think of your audience. Ask yourself if they would like something to watch and share with their friends. Once you get some ideas, you can even poll your audience to form comments and possibly start a discussion. This not only creates interaction, but also gives you a special vision of what they want. Infographic is informative, but easy to understand. Because they come in the form of images, they are suitable for the majority of internet users who often share visual content on social media. Using tools like PictoChart, you don't even need to know graphic design to create a reasonably high quality diagram. The most important thing is to use your expertise and business data to create something your audience will find valuable. Some of the most successful marketing campaigns have spread because they have provoked strong emotional reactions among users. Numerous studies have demonstrated that emotions such as happiness, anger, or sadness have the power to engage people and get them to share digital content. Remember the hashtag It Can Wait campaign? Study how AT&T used narration and art and engage users in achieving this public safety campaign be careful not to choose reasons that are not related to your business as lack of confidence can backfire. But when you see an opportunity to contribute, do it well. Invest in the process, not just the product. Video strategy must be considered an integral part of content marketing strategy, not a standalone feature. Before taking a video, think about the role you want the video to play in your branding story and the steps it will take to draw, produce, position, and measure this content. Doing this legal action in advance will help you make smarter decisions about the video projects that deserve the resources you have to spend. Excess color and design can cause users to leave the site. A little color and design can be forgotten. In the middle, there is an exciting mixture of colors sticking to the users. The color trick is to create a palette that suits your content, but also contrasts with many other things that users communicate with regularly. Just think of the number of websites you click on every day that have the same blue background color. It's all about writing and pictures when it comes to communicating with the user's senses. One option is to interact with users and provide feedback. For example, the user enters something into the website and something else is returned. Think of it as a going back and forth in the same way that text messages are sent to a friend. Another option is to get them to think about your design the way Coffee Times Coffee does. Changing your content or adjusting your design can provide new and interesting experiences for users who encourage them to think more about your site and come back to it. The key is that new experiences should still look like your content and design. So this can be very difficult. You probably won't find a coffee drink that doesn't smell like watching videos on the website's homepage. Some claim to hear the beans in the mill. Either way, the design becomes more than just a picture on the screen to the user. It calls for another pleasant memory through the senses. Popular subjects. Make videos on popular subjects. Over the past few years, content marketing has undergone a major transformation and the video has come to the front and center. Now arguably the most effective strategy that you can use to communicate with your audience, especially in the era of mobile marketing. Many smartphone users find it difficult to resist attractive types of video content. However, despite the obvious potential for video marketing, many companies are still sitting on the sidelines. Many marketers believe it is easier to produce blogs, case studies, and even white papers. By comparison, the concept of regularly publishing new and unique video content regularly is frustrating. The truth is, video marketing isn't as complicated as it sounds. 
It's just about getting to know the video content that people love watching and then providing more of that. You're ready to create videos, but you're stuck on which topics to start? Since you have to create high quality content regularly, you may end up with fewer thoughts. Fortunately, there are a lot of tools and tactics that can help you find ideal hot topics for your niche. Think about your work and industry for a minute. Now think of the millions of searches people type on Google every minute of every day. Were the opportunities people posed on Google the questions they might be able to answer? Answer the Public collects data from Google's auto discovery feature and puts it in a great visual diagram for understanding. There are hundreds of ideas that you can use on any specific topic. Not only that, but you can imagine their perceptions as a picture for later reference or export the data as a CSV file to be harnessed later for ideas. Google Trends Google Trends is a free search analysis site that you can use to learn what's popular. It's a great tool for marketing research and if you explore it in depth, you will be able to get a lot of value from it. There are two ways you can use this site to create topic ideas. Find out what people are searching for. You can learn about popular trends in specific locations and further explore these topics to find an idea for your video. If you want to know how a topic performs on YouTube, you can change and manage settings as well. Compare topics. If you already have some similar thoughts on the topic of the video, but you can't decide which one works best, you can use Google Trends to compare them and see how they are stacked together in terms of popularity and longevity. Find subtopics. If you already have a theme for the main topic, you can search for subtopics using Google Trends. You'll be able to discover what your target audience is searching for in your own place. Google Keyword Planner. Google Keyword Planner is a great tool for performing keyword searches and topic outlines. Google Keyword Planner helps you with keyword searches and provides helpful insight into search volume, historical statistics, clicks, and conversion forecasts, along with traffic forecasts. TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a YouTube certified plugin that offers many great features for YouTube users. Its keyword search feature allows you to search for terms so you can find meaningful new topics. The options are limited in the free version though. The basic free version of TubeBuddy will help you find keywords as well. While this is only for YouTube, it's still a great way to know what kind of videos people are interested in or searching for. Creating series-based content keeps people coming back and allows you to explore the topic from different perspectives. This step is necessary to become an authority and own your own. Many people just scratch the surface of trends and move forward. If you go deep, you describe yourself as an expert in your area. It is much easier to dive deeper than the width. So create chain-based content that explores your chosen themes from different perspectives and gives it more meaning. Create a stop-motion video. People usually think of incredibly intertwined ideas when they think of stop-motion videos, but it doesn't have to be very complicated. Take snapshots of something on the job and bring it together in a video creator like Animoto to achieve the same stopping effect. Create event videos. What do you get when you capture multiple types of video content and group them together in a short but refined video? The answer is an event video. It's part of the webinar, part of a vlog, part of a promotional video. In the age of social media, event videos are hugely popular, especially when they provide a sneak peek behind the scenes of a cool corporate event. The effect is played across the event videos using powerful and emotional marketing technology, the fear of missing an opportunity. The FOMO phenomenon is a psychological stimulus where people experience anxiety when they feel excluded from social events, new experiences, or important events. Spoof creation can be one of the most creative video ideas on this list. Can you think of a smart showcase for a popular movie clip, music video, or funny thing that has recently had online success or popularity? People love seeing fluctuations on related and new topics. And if you are thinking about something original, you can use this fact for your business's benefit. Act fast and don't let the trend fade before publishing a video. If you do, it will be like serving old bread. Stay on the leading edge of the trend. Don't follow it. Don't spill the beans with the tweet. Post a short video clip announcing the next big idea about your business and post it on social media. Video marketing content allows you to build hype with real character and on-screen animations. Share your experience. 
create reviews, blogs, and share your experiences. Building a brand does not mean feeding yourself. It comes to giving yourself more opportunities to help and connect with people in your field. One of the best ways to build a brand is through blogging. Blogs allow you to tell a story about your brand over and over, letting customers know and be comfortable with it. Someone referred to blogging this way, blog like a continuous tour with evidence you know. Show your brand blog with customization. It places a human face on the brand. Blogging is engaging in conversation, facilitates dialogue with the consumer. Consumers can get to know you through this personal interaction. When they get to know you, they love you. And better yet, they trust you. Not only will consumers speak to you on your blog, they will also talk to each other. Your readers can become the best promoters in building your brand, helping you spread your message and presence across their networks. One of the biggest advantages of using blogs is to communicate in strong personal ways with your target audience. By creating deeper relationships, you can effectively influence how people think and feel about you and your business. Your connection is what will create the greatest success for your blog. How do you make these connections vital? By being yourself, sharing what you know, your experience and expertise, and injecting some of your personality into the mix too. You don't have to be a professional writer to do this either. Part of the fun of blogging is that it does not require a degree in journalism. It requires honesty, transparency, and a sincere desire to share something that benefits readers. If you can do that, you will win. Many blogs, in order to get views and some money, post reviews of their favorite products or services. Reviews can be anything from a favorite book to a favorite beauty cream, or even a favorite website. Most of the time, these blogs are not compensated for writing other than a free product to try. They are required to provide honest reviews and brand and product promotion in exchange for these free samples. Today, many people search for product or service reviews before investing their money. While many reviews are found on the main websites of a brand or company, the most useful reviews are found on blogs created and maintained by ordinary people who have real experience with the product or service. Statistically, over 90% of people undergo product reviews even before going to the company's website. For this reason, it is imperative that your products receive a large number of reviews, especially if they are new. A large number of positive reviews will help people discover them more quickly. Furthermore, Google uses reviews to rank the same products in order, from most popular to least common. Then, customers follow reviews to choose their product, thereby increasing click rates to your website. Sounds simple, right? There is one caveat. The review should be good and original. Needless to say, however, customers trust products with the most favorable reviews. However, if the reviews are fraudulent, consumers can sniff them within seconds and quickly dismiss them. For this reason, companies need to encourage more good reviews online, and people need to write them. It's a good idea to write a review in a conversational manner, and this allows readers to respond and suggest their point of view. What's more, when you respond again, people will find your comment more authentic and original. Be rich and informative. Be specific and relevant to where you hang on. And describe what other visitors might be facing. Highlight what makes the place special and try to share something new and interesting. From signature dishes to secret sales shelves, reviews should reveal the unique experiences that places offer. Make it real. Be original. Review your own experience and explain why you like or dislike the place. Try to be as accurate as possible and include the positive and negative aspects of your visit. Brand experience encompasses almost every aspect of the way consumers experience your brand. Basically, it's a very big deal. To understand what makes a brand experience successful, it is important to see how the experience relates to other key brand elements such as brand identity and brand voice. Storytelling is a powerful technology for building relationships. It's an old concept that brings people together and keeps them involved. It doesn't matter where you are in the world or how much financing your startup has. Good stories give great voices for small projects. So it's important for companies to take time in advance to fully develop their storytelling methods. Storytelling and marketing go hand in hand. 
Just think about that. Whether you're producing graphs, writing a copy of a Facebook ad, or writing a free online directory, you need to grab the attention of your audience. Blogs are supposed to be unofficial, so let your blog reflect the human face of your brand. Give her some personality and try to keep your sales offers low. You will find that people are more likely to respond to you as well as purchase your services. Become popular. Get internet friends, subscribers, fans, and followers. Social media is mysterious and complex. Very similar to the internet, the social media scene is developing at an amazing pace, making it very difficult to keep up with the many changes and new platforms emerging from left, right, and center, especially if you are not a social media strategist by commerce, and you are simply trying to navigate the misty waters of digital marketing. For example, to promote your personal blog posts or make sure to see your Facebook status by as many eyeballs as possible. This is not easy, of course. By nature, social media is ruled by the people who consume it. In fact, you can spend hours finishing crafting the perfect tweets, but if you launch them into the world at the wrong time and nobody has seen or shared them, you will make all this effort for nothing. Your success in the social media world then is directly related to your exposure to the right people in the right format at the right time. Be interesting. It sounds pretty straightforward, but look back at the last 10 posts on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook updates. <laughs> All right? Are you going to follow someone who posts these things? If not, then why not? Share funny, cute, happy, sad, inspired, strange, colorful, useful, entertaining things. Be whimsical, but considerate. Be funny, but not sarcastic. Share personal stories, but don't be boring. Don't just tweet if it rains or post another photo of your lunch. Come on now, who wants to follow that? Social media platforms are all completely different, so don't treat them the same way. If you post the same things everywhere, it will be repetitive and boring for anyone who follows you in more than one place. And you will also not get the best results from every platform. The types of people following you will vary everywhere. Things that work well on Facebook will die on Twitter because people use them in very different ways. Twitter is constantly the same as a constant news source for information. Often, people keep it open all day and check in, but don't necessarily comment on what they see or click on posted links. On the other hand, people go to Facebook specifically either to communicate with their friends or to stall. So give them something that gets them distracted. In addition to the unique focus and entertaining personality, the third major ingredient is being really good at what you do. If you're going to broadcast on YouTube or Twitch, invest in good audio and video equipment. Learn how to edit videos and ensure proper lighting. If your presentations don't give you anything, people are less likely to share your channel or page. And more importantly, share it with others. Focus on your followers. Once you get your channel or page, focus on getting as many followers as possible. Contact everyone you know and ask them to follow you and share your information with others. Then follow others. Often, as soon as they follow them, they will follow you again. And their followers will see the notifications that you have been followed and may follow them. Look at the large social media accounts located in similar regions because you are more likely to be interested in what they say. Another similarity among social media celebrities is their active interaction with their audience. If you want to become famous, responding to comments and creating videos or photo sessions based on audience requests helps you appear acceptable. This is a huge difference you will see with internet celebs, unlike Hollywood, music, and fashion celebrities. Social media stars are known for their willingness to engage their audiences rather than appearing isolated and above being social and responsive. Embrace the hashtags. Hashtags do more than add ironic underlines to your tweets or Instagram posts. They can also connect you to a wider audience, including customers and contacts in your chosen market. Even if people don't follow you, they're looking for related hashtags, which means they'll see what you post when you include keywords. Instagram and Twitter make it easy to search across hashtags. On their websites, you can find search boxes at the top of the screen. And in mobile apps, you can search by going to the separate tab. There are no hard and fast rules on how to use hashtags. It really depends on what you sell and what your business is. However, 
you can catch some ideas by looking at other accounts in your field and seeing the words they choose. One of the rules you must follow is to avoid overloading the hashtag. The post fully populated with hashtags appears spam and users will not click on it. While deciding which signs to include, remember that you need to strike a balance. Use very popular hashtags and your post will be lost in the flood. Use very obscure hashtags and nobody will think of looking for them. You may need a little trial and error to know what works and what doesn't. Micro interaction. It's the era of partial interaction. People have more work and less time for long posts on social media. Cut the text, be more attractive, speak more with less or just pictures. People love images, pictures, or even videos as it takes less time. They may have a meeting with your post for just two seconds or it might be less. Post something that will attract them at that time. Go to the market on your own. Trend. Update on trends. Nobody is interested in the old trend. Find out what's most popular and get the first mover advantage in your posts. Watch your eyes on Facebook and Twitter. What are the common sidebars and subscribe to Google Alerts to be updated. Quality supported by quantity. Quality posts are a must. Don't be fooled. But his support is in quantity. Post regularly to be in their feed. Find the best time to post on different social media platforms and do the best you can. Be a human. One of the worst mistakes made on social media is to emerge as a company without a character, without a face. In the modern era of transparency, people want to get to know your company on a more personal level. Many brands today make jokes and are not afraid to speak to their followers as they do their friends. While many brands were once criticized for coming in like robots, the presence of human social media has become something expected among many followers. Likewise, showing the human side of your brand means showing faces behind your social feeds, whether it is desk pictures or snapshots of your team in the wild. Having a character with your followers can help you forge a much needed connection. Look for relationships, not just followers. Having 100 followers who interact with you and your content regularly is more valuable than 10,000 ignored. It may be cliche to say, but don't leave social media outside of your presence on social media. The social beauty is that you can build relationships in an instant with followers from almost anywhere. If you're not quite sure where to start when it comes to building relationships, here are some quick ideas. Always at mention people you reference in your social media posts. Answer questions people ask. Reply when people at mention you or share your content. Don't just retweet and like other people's content. Reply with a comment to start a conversation. Give and take. Want to increase the number of people interacting with your private posts? First, you will have to deal with others. This means you cannot just promote your own things relentlessly. You must post posts that have been uploaded by other people, along with your own responses and comments. This advice applies to any social media platform. Other users, both potential customers and competitors, will likely notice you if they contribute something to the network other than paying for your goods and services. Consider congratulating a young coworker on a good job or promoting a charitable campaign launched by another person in your field. More specifically, on Twitter, many people post requests for help. You can answer these questions directly, as long as you don't find yourself too stressed. For example, if you have fixed your laptop screen, search for people in your area who are looking for laptop screen repair. Then offer your help with a public tweet. To do this type of search, visit Twitter and type your search term in the box on the top right of the screen. Next, find the sidebar for search filters and click the show link you see next to it. A drop down menu will appear with the option to locate. Then select near you to filter for those who live in your area. Buffer your posts. It offers many applications to improve your presence on social media so you can better promote yourself. One of the favorites is the free buffer service. Simply, it stores posts on Facebook and Twitter, allowing you to arrange multiple posts at once and then work on non-social obligations without worrying about posting all day. The program can post your posts gradually throughout the day or schedule to post them on air at specified times. 
buffer basically saves you from sitting at the computer or phone around the clock. It also helps target customers who do not live in the same time zone as you. Moreover, it includes tools to analyze how well your posts perform and share the same message on multiple social media accounts simultaneously. Get TV broadcasting and media opportunities. Technology advances radically change the broadcasting and media sector. And every day that passes, we go beyond the limits of what is possible a little. If you are considering TV broadcasts and media opportunities, you're likely to be well aware that media business opportunities come with a lot of competition. For anyone dreaming of finding the media industry opportunities that suit their interest and passions, breaking into this industry can seem an almost impossible challenge. Almost everyone has reached the pinnacle of the media industry game with a mixture of hard work, smart career development, and quality education. Meaning that if you strive to achieve your dreams wisely, you can also achieve professional greatness. You will need to know how to communicate because having good contacts is very helpful in finding employment. Make a good impression on everyone you meet, for example, when doing a work experience. Keep in touch with them and don't be shy about seeking advice on how to advance your career. To work with the media on promotional or marketing opportunities, your community group needs an idea of how the newsroom works. While there may be slight differences, most newsrooms operate in the same way. Here is an overview of the newsroom's work in order to give you a better understanding of how it works. Before the advent of the internet, the mantra in the media was, content is king. During that era, huge production costs were barriers for anyone wanting to produce movies, TV series, or music albums. There were inaccessible barriers to distributing content. You needed movie theaters, broadcasters, or recording stores to reach the masses. Now, however, content is cheaper in production, and the huge amount available has exploded. Distribution, the second stop, is easier because consumers can access programs online. Premium online broadcasters, Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Prime, and Netflix have created new markets with these easy-to-reach distribution methods. Even YouTube and Facebook broadcast live video. Many places appear to distribute content, and the old ecosystem broke down in less than a decade. The viewer experiences provided by linear TV shows are very different from consumers on YouTube and Facebook. However, TV and these newer media platforms share a main feature. They all support their users. Programming or content that users enjoy is free because someone or something else pays for it. TV broadcasts are always supported by paid ads. Commercial networks create programs that target and attract audiences and sell broadcast times, the attention of these audiences, to advertisers it's a nice, two-sided business with a cash side and a user side. Networks and their stations get money and users, viewers, watch for free. But public TV stations cannot do business this way because the public broadcasting law prohibits advertising. FCC regulations provide some flexibility for advertisers, also known as underwriters, to sponsor broadcasts for non-commercial education licensees. With the mandate to provide free software and a ban on selling ads, public television stations had to develop other ways to increase revenue to support their operations. Enter membership and fundraising from major donors, incorporation and institutional support, and request subscription. It's a much more sophisticated model than the simpler form of money for eyeballs enjoyed by our commercial cousins. The content is still king, and now it's targeted. The importance of content creation and more of what is known as targeted content and targeted advertising is a trend that will continue to grow in importance. That is, this trend indicates the need to create specific content and advertising for a specific audience according to their taste and interest, and above all, depending on which screen they consume. It is important to keep in mind that viewers' consumption habits have changed and that with the widespread use of second screens and mobile devices, online video consumption has increased dramatically. Marketing companies expect that the average daily time spent on TV consumption in the United States will drop to nearly half an hour. 
Where some platforms lose, others win. Fierce consumer competition. TV advertising is one of the best ways to grab the attention of potential fans. Next, the advertiser may seek to raise awareness, which is the first step necessary to encourage a potential buyer action. Without television advertising, the only medium with vision, movement, and sound characteristics, the advertiser is limited to flat media. Radio ads only contain audio, print and billboard ads with visibility only to encourage the viewer. TV is the dominant mass medium. TV advertising continues to offer the greatest potential for reaching the largest number of potential retail fans. Social media outlets. If you are a brand today, you have a great opportunity on social media. But how many brands have an active and thriving presence on social media? Facebook. Many people have a goal to become famous on Facebook. It can even be temporary fame. They just want to be in the spotlight for once. As we know it, Facebook is a huge social networking site, which makes it easier for you to meet many people and become famous if you follow the right steps. Being famous does not mean that you need more friends and followers, but you may also need people to get to know you with the help of Facebook. The main thing to becoming popular is knowing how to create a fan page. This will require you to work on your communication skills when it comes to unknown and random persons. You can participate in various conversations online by sticking to the topic of discussion and adding valuable information to it. The sense of humor is really cool most of the time, but when you add value to the conversation thread, you're more appreciated. Good news is spreading faster and farther than anything else on social media, which is contrary to traditional media. Psychologists explain that we care about how our friends and peers interact with what we share. Since we generally want our friends to be happy, we'd rather share something that makes them feel good. Hence, you will be greatly impressed if your updates are optimistic and positive. Frankly, this shouldn't come as a surprise because the same is true for your real life behavior. Being positive and being able to arouse powerful feelings is worthless if you fail to attract the attention of your friends and followers. Learn what they care about and feed their interest or build an audience that genuinely cares about what you have to share. Consider targeting different types of updates for different groups of friends. Instead of posting things that no one is watching, you should understand who your target audience or fans are. Then determine what they like or the content that will get meaningful interactions from them. To know your target audience on Facebook, you must first decide who you represent on Facebook, what skills you have, and which sections of users can help you. If you want to become popular on Facebook, you need something unique that people will care about. If you are a health freak or a fitness celebrity on Facebook, your target audience will be the millennial generation and health conscious people. Here, your content strategy will be gyms, Facebook cases that motivate people to lose weight, do aerobic exercise, and so on. Know who your friends or followers want to appeal to. People will not only share something that impressed them, but also want to convince others of what they are sharing. In other words, if they think that someone they really care about will love what they are reading now, they are more likely to share it. So try crafting your Facebook updates in a way that makes social cognition areas in the reader's brains go. Or in simple terms, appeal to your friends of friends. Instagram. Instagram is one of the most popular social media sharing apps with over 1 billion users per month. Most of the people we know are scrolling, publishing, and liking around the clock. But while the app is ubiquitous, there's still some mystery about how to use it to its fullest potential. This may be without saying, but it's important to be active on Instagram. With YouTube and other platforms, activity can be active, meaning post a video or two a week. However, in the case of Instagram, you will need to make at least one exciting new photo per day, or at least some photo post that you find interesting. The important thing is to be constantly active so your followers can enjoy your content and have a lot to see when they find you for the first time. Interact regularly with your followers. Your followers are bread and butter, so make sure you're eating properly. The real secret of how to become famous on Instagram is not only by attracting followers, but also keeping them engaged. To do this, feel free to follow them and like, comment on their photos. 
The comments are especially good because it can start a real conversation between you and the follower, ensuring that you make a strong connection to Instagram. Participate in community contests. Contests are an often overlooked part of Instagram, but it's a key tool for success. Many popular accounts will host competitions. Usually when capturing the best caption, action, best captions about a specific challenge or topic. In return, the winners of these challenges will usually receive rewards in the form of shouting and or follow-up from their respective homepage, which greatly increases their market of influence. As long as it doesn't jump too much from your usual topic, participating in community competitions is a fun way to stay connected, grow your Instagram presence. Use correct hashtags. The hashtags are the Instagram hub. Everyone will post within common hashtags, and this should be you too, but monitoring the most common hashtags is not enough. If you want to know how to become popular on Instagram, you will also need to know a thing or two about search engine optimization, SEO, and keywords. On search engines and most web content, keywords describe search terms used to find specific web pages. For this reason, websites use keywords to help users find our content. With Instagram, hashtags basically work with the same purpose. Group relevant content together with the best, most impact on the hype. When posting to Instagram, always try to find some relevant hashtags for your photos. Don't just settle with the most common. Either use some variety so your network is wider and people are more likely to find and like your photos, comment on them. The right tagging really goes a long way on Instagram, just as the right SEO really goes a long way on the web. Do giveaways. Growth is not an easy process, but once you start to grow, it's not so difficult to speed it up. A great way to do this, once you're around 100 followers, start hosting gifts. It doesn't have to be a huge prize necessarily, but something like a $50 gift card icon will usually get enough people interested in liking and sharing your free posts. Having a free post with a motivational bonus and appropriate tagging will all ensure that your followers are sharing the post, which means that within a few days, they will see thousands of your posts. Everyone loves free stuff and hosting the giveaways with high quality Instagram also will encourage new people to find you and see what's around them. Twitter. Twitter has captured the world. What was once a simple social network to share short text excerpts with others has become entangled in all aspects of our lives. It's almost impossible to avoid classification marks in this day and age. Unfortunately, we live in a time when people can become famous by at least writing tweets that others consider interesting, comic, inspirational, or ridicule of other traits we can quarrel with. However, we never said gathering followers and creating communication opportunities was an easy task. On the contrary, this requires you to create a captivating profile, follow others, and interact with followers, and consistently generate interesting tweets. Posting on Twitter can help you market your business or post your blog. The most well-connected users on Twitter have over 100,000 followers, and some have more than 500,000 followers. Most of these users were completely known before they started tweets, but that doesn't mean you can't climb to the top either. Some well-chosen, smart blog posts and aggressive self-promotion will get you extremely far. Connect and retweet the influencers and celebrities. As they say, whatever you do in life, surround yourself with smart people. This is exactly the Twitter motto as well. If you want to become popular on Twitter, you must first contact already popular Twitter accounts. Communicating with Twitter accounts means responding to their tweets and retweeting them. Only a few sensible responses or maybe one funny response can get you thousands of followers. Follow and tweet on the latest Twitter trends. Twitter on the latest Twitter trends ensures that your tweets reach the maximum number of people as many of them follow this trend. For example, if everyone talks about cryptography and you share tweets, memes on hashtag crypto, you increase your chances of reaching a larger audience. It's very easy to find the most popular hashtags on Twitter by clicking on Twitter analytics and clicking on the trends section under the explore section in the Twitter app. 
You can also check the number of people tweeting this particular trend to see if it's worth your time. Posting more visual content. As you probably know, tweets with visual content receive more likes, posts, and tweets than the ones that don't. As such, brands should strive to associate their tweets with an accompanying type of image. Although there is nothing inherently wrong in texting tweets only, the images are in a better position to stop serial scrollers and encourage them to take a look at your post. Use questionnaires wisely. It has now become a kept secret on Twitter that the easy way to increase engagement is through surveys. Although this is completely misused, it still works. And as long as you ask meaningful questions, you will get responses. And trust me, it will always be funny. Your account notes easily and lots of hints and followers on a consistent basis. Snapchat. Without the suggested user lists or the more powerful discovery features that you find on sites like Instagram or Twitter, Snapchat friends should communicate in different ways. While this means that you won't be able to copy your entire Instagram follower tactics completely, not all is lost. With a little inspiration from Insta, some old tricks, and mastering special Snapchat features, there is a lot you can do to increase your follow-up on Snapchat. If you're not popular, getting people to notice you on Snapchat isn't easy. There's no exploration section for suggesting followers based on your interest, a la Instagram. So if people don't know how to search for you, your audience will be friends and family, and maybe even weird additions from time to time. But there are native Snap stars. Users starting from scratch and building followers on the app encounter some viral fame overnight by working with brands. Others have increased their audience over time by speaking. Post content frequently. Just like with Instagram, the more you post, the more followers and perspectives you'll get. In Snapchat, the public stories are arranged chronologically, with the last story filmed directly to the top of your followers' feed. This means that if you want more views on Snapchat, you must post as frequently as possible in order to stay on top of your followers' feeds. But this does not mean that you should start shooting after a Snapchat of the ill-conceived content that does nothing but disturb your followers. Like any great social media marketing plan, you need to come up with a great content strategy. Share your Snapchat on other social media. Unfortunately, Snapchat is not intended for discovery. Snapchat helps people keep track of those they consider close friends and brands most important to them. So getting followers through the app is difficult. However, as part of your overall digital media strategy, you have other social media channels that you can use to promote Snapchat. Share your Snapchat code frequently on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and anywhere else you have followers. TikTok. TikTok's popularity has exploded in recent years. At first, I wasn't a big fan because I create long-form HD videos as seen on YouTube. I didn't necessarily like the vertical video aspect, but over the last few years, the app has grown in popularity. So much so that even YouTube has created a massive short-form video section with its YouTube platform. TikTok is primarily popular for displaying dance videos, but comedy, acting, lip-syncing, and educational videos get a lot of views as well. Share. Although it began serving a younger audience, it quickly welcomed older users. TikTok is definitely a place where you can find the hottest celebrities of all ages. It can be somewhat difficult to get followers, but the same principles apply as in other social media apps. Create great content, comment on posts, follow others, and share. Consistency in your videos and web content. Help your viewers to trust you. Content is one of the biggest buzzwords in the world of internet marketing. No matter what aspect of digital marketing you're working on, content always seems to be related to it. It's true that the content is arguably one of the greatest influences on the success of your online marketing campaigns. Your content can be consistent in two main ways, quality and repeatability. In terms of the success of online marketing, both are equally important. The quality of your content is important for obvious reasons. Low quality content gets no traction. As an online marketer, you have to remember that your customers are spoiled for choices. No matter how specialized the industry or target audience is, 
you are probably not the only company that provides a specific product, service online. The same applies to the content. Just imagine how much content a single Google search generates or how many ads people see in their social feeds every day. If your content is of lower quality, it will soon fade into the background and fans forget it. Just as the quality of your content matters, so does its creation rate. We are very saturated with digital content today. It's easy to watch a video and even think it's great without remembering who it really was. Brand awareness is a slow process that requires patience. But if you keep everything consistent, you should be able to see growth in appreciation and build a following that you trust in the videos you post and share. A good brand is part of building your reputation and should be part of the thought that spreads in your video, such as tone, style, and sound. If there is one main reason to strive for consistency in your social media strategy, it is establishing credibility with your audience it's not sufficient to publish a case study or market trends from time to time. Your account should regularly produce excellent content that users find valuable. The more you consistently post great content, the more your audience will interact with your post. The more the audience interacts, the more likely it is that social media algorithms will prioritize your post to your audience. Publishing regularly is a great start, but what you publish is just as important. Unfortunately, creating new and good content on a consistent basis can take a lot of preparation on your part. This is why having a video plan focused on many different areas of your business can help keep the content up to date while ensuring a consistent message. There is no controversy that posting videos on social media channels produces results. On average, social media posts with videos get 48% more views. By consistency and marketing efforts, you dedicate time, resources, and strategic thinking to your campaign, also allowing you to create a process that will be given and improved over time and incorporated into your business. The more consistent you are, the better your content will become, and the thinner the process. SEO is one of the biggest advantages of consistency with content marketing. If you constantly post new and relevant content on your website, be it pages, blog posts, or landing pages, Google will crawl and index your website frequently. Accompanied by targeted SEO strategy, regular content updates can boost your rankings as long as you focus on being original, relevant, and attractive. The way we consume information has completely changed over the past decade. For a long time, marketing was governed by a one-way communication from a brand or company directly to the consumer. Today, with the advent of social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, consumers are playing an active role in disseminating information. Thus, it is not difficult to know why companies go online to these social channels in the hope of getting some content. From copying the web and blog articles to promotional videos, companies spread their content in social online environments in the hope of engaging their customers. And when they can do that, the results can be impressive. High quality content can really travel the internet, enhance your brand image, and advertise your products and services. In the long run, this can help your company attract more leads and conversions. Frequency in your videos and web content. When to publish. Creating a loyal audience on publishing platforms requires more than writing a few paragraphs on a topic and posting it as a post. There are a number of simple but easily ignored things you can do to make your content more attractive and effective without the need for technical assistance. Updating your website content is a vital aspect of SEO. Without frequently updated content, you are less likely to rank in search engine results. Updating your site's content may seem like a difficult and time-consuming task, but with a strategy and schedule, it doesn't have to be. Publishing Schedule Development When developing a video publishing schedule, it is not necessary to create new content for each release. Indeed, this approach may cost more time and money in the long run. Alternatively, you can develop a comprehensive and permanent video installment campaign. Develop a series of how to accompany the launch of your new product or answer urgent customer questions as part of product development research. Most video viewers have a relatively short attention span. 
It is important to create videos that only take a few minutes. To create a strong video marketing campaign, set a goal to post a clip once a week during the campaign cycle. For each release, schedule video content releases while supporting marketing activities. To enhance the process, you may want to accompany video premiums with blog articles. From there, plan to release the video in as many related channels as possible. Post it to your website or social media. Embed or link to it from the newsletter and encourage employees to share the video after posting. To start, you will need to develop a great content strategy and deployment plan covering all platforms with a full suite of different interactive content, from social media to emails and video campaigns, to weekly webinars, and of course, your blog. You might even stick to producing an annual online course or another larger piece of content, like a worksheet or an ebook that adds value to your industry and your business. Think about the daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and annual content, then, Agree on the content creation process that works for you. Whether it's working remotely with a marketing company or using agile methodologies to get the job done internally. Scheduling social media posts is a great time saver. But unfortunately, it prevents your videos from automatically playing in user feeds. Since uploading videos one by one is not perfect, consider alternative ways to prevent users from scrolling to the past. Including high-quality graphics is a great way to attract attention while encouraging clicks. Although the visual aspects of your social posts are essential to attracting initial attention, the surrounding version is very important to get your audience to take the next step. Professional copy authors have the skill to define the tone and sound to use to communicate with your target audience and motivate them to act, all while staying on the message. This requires not only mastery of convincing language, but a thorough understanding of the desires and needs of your audience. High quality video, transcription, and graphics can be used together with miracles to increase audience engagement on social media. The key is to find a trusted partner who can plan, create, and implement the three in a way that tells your story smoothly. Quality. In your video and web content, the content strategy will guide your plans for what, where, and when the content is created. Content is the reason people visit your website, and any redesign must be made using content policy first. Even solid content progresses over time, so if you haven't touched content on your website in a while, it's likely due to be updated. Focus on creating strong headlines. Now, I know this may not look like a great tip, since writing a few word title is not exactly the hardest thing. But believe it or not, it often becomes a difficult task when you want to present that it's great and you want to make sure it stands out from all the other titles existing. Part of creating great content lies in writing a great title, which is why it becomes one of the most important aspects of your content. Write about and interact with your audience. With whatever content you create, your target audience must be your primary focus from start to finish. Why? Because in the end, it is your audience who will really determine whether your content is awesome or not and it is they who will go to share, comment, and recommend your content to others. So, it is necessary to please them. If you read a sentence and come to the end and think, well, what next? You need to rethink it, because your audience will likely think completely the same. Take the time to think exactly who your target audience is. Write sentences that speak directly to you, engage them with emotional questions, and use a language of interest. Be well prepared and well organized for filming your videos. If you attend your photo session disorganized and decide to move it, your end product will look unprofessional and dirty. On the other hand, if you're ready, you'll be able to focus your efforts on guiding actors rather than discovering last minute logistics. Time is of the essence, so you don't waste hours trying to figure out the angle you want or the line that needs to be connected next. Plan it. Write a script. Draw a storyboard and create a snapshot list before you start shooting. Plan your B-roll shots so you have additional shots when it's time to release. More on that below. If you think writing a video script is the same as writing a blog post, think again. Follow the inverted pyramid model. Web readers have short periods of interest. They will decide whether your site contains the information they need in seconds. 
Build your own content like a pyramid or inverted cone. The most important messages appear at the top of the page. Then gradually move to the more specific supporting information. It ends with occasional details. For example, suppose you create a web page about a conference. The most relevant details, feature description, date, and location, will appear at the top of the page. Supporting details will be followed as the speakers and their lecture topics. Less important information, such as the conference organizers, conference series history, or a list of related resources, will appear at the bottom of the page. When creating website content, companies often think about what they want to say rather than what their audience wants to read. It is necessary to create content for your website while considering your diverse audience and thinking about what is most important to them. Because this is really the purpose of your content. Buyer personalities help you visualize the type of people you are trying to reach and better understand buyer behavior. By defining key buyer personalities, you can create targeted, customized content tailored to their interests, needs, and goals. Your content aims to answer their questions, educate them on industry topics, and address their pain points. Remember, you have more than one audience, and your website must have content that meets each segment. In addition to leads, you must create website content geared toward clients, potential employees, business partners, media, etc. Low-Cost Promotions Press releases are a powerful promotional tool, but they are often overlooked and can be valuable to almost any type of business, including freelancers and entrepreneurs. If you don't add press releases to your marketing mix, you might miss one of the fastest and most cost-effective ways to spread the word about your services. A humble press release has always been a powerful way to distribute information to journalists, publications, and the media. However, with the increasing influence of online media channels, and social media in particular, press releases can also be used as an effective tool to increase the overall visibility of your business online. If used well, Press releases can inflate the reach of your online marketing campaigns and bring your message to new eyes. But even with this somewhat new opportunity, it is important that you walk a fine line when using this type of media for your online presence. Press releases can be effective when it comes to promoting awareness of your brand, building social media presence, and increasing communication with your community. Sites like PR Newswire, BusinessWire, and MarketWire have helped increase the ability of press releases to target valuable traffic and drive it to your business website. Although it is important to note that press releases do not add much of the SEO value to your site, there are other advantages to using it as part of a comprehensive internet marketing strategy. The secret to creating a high-impact marketing plan is to optimize your limited budget. A one-time radio ad campaign, glossy brochure, or shiny new website will quickly erode your budget and disrupt your marketing plans. Use low-budget marketing to get your message across to your customers regularly and watch sales revenue increase. There are several reasons why a low-budget marketing plan is essential for small businesses in today's enlarged advertising community. Expensive advertising exposure does not necessarily translate into increased sales. Every marketing dollar spent should yield a good return on sales. Your target customers need to hear your marketing messages at least seven times to influence the buying decision. Using off-budget marketing strategies doesn't allow you to repeat your message often enough to make an impact. Marketing impact can be greatly improved by using multiple marketing channels. Prospects will likely be buyers if they read about your company in the newspaper, attend a seminar, take a brochure home, and visit your small company website. Maximize referrals. The most cost-effective way to reach new customers is by referrals from satisfied customers. A satisfied customer who tells others about your small business is more effective than any luxury advertising campaign. Spend some time getting customer referrals and taking advantage of oral marketing regularly. These are just a few of the many tactics and strategies that small businesses use to create a high-impact marketing plan for a low budget. For more ideas, browse this list of 101 small business marketing ideas. HTTPS colon slash slash www.thebalancesmb.com slash small dash business 
dash marketing dash ideas dash two nine five one six eight eight public relations PR business people want their companies to be on the cover pages of major publications PR can be used to create breakthrough moments public relations is a vital tool for building successful businesses in today's business environment while large companies can afford to pay exorbitant rates to major public relations agencies to deal with their own PR issues, startups with slow capabilities may not have that capacity. Public relations, PR, is the practice of making use of media channels to promote your organization and create a positive overview. Public relations is also the process of managing your brand and your organization's connections, especially in times of crisis. Public relations is how brands manage their information to spread, so they are similar to a brand. The main difference is that public relations focus on communication and reputation, while the brand relies on visual elements such as logos, websites, and marketing materials. Brands manage their public relations or communications and reputation through various media channels. Securing strong PR is not an easy thing, as it requires dedicated efforts. PR includes various programs designed to improve the corporate image and the product you offer. You can use this tool to tell stories about your business. Startups are always encouraged to discover story corners of a strong PR strategy. Advertise all of your video and web content. Advertise to keep your business alive. Some people have been so successful in their content marketing strategies that they have hundreds of thousands of readers. Of course, great content is a big part of the equation, but another area that is often overlooked in content marketing is content promotion. Social media is new talk. People spend most of their time on the internet, interacting with others, and sharing experiences and preferences. In other words, it allows consumers to connect and share with more people than ever before. Just include the social media sharing buttons in your blog posts and you just created content that people can share on their social networks. This helps show your business to a broader audience that you can't reach otherwise. On website.com blog, just click on the blog settings tool and you will find the social sharing buttons that you can enable on your blog. Once enabled, all the blog posts you have published will contain social sharing buttons for easy sharing. Don't forget to share. Videos now make it very easy for others who love video to share with their followers and friends. So take the time to include sharing features with social media platforms that you think might be relevant. Embedding videos on different platforms like Facebook or Twitter requires slightly different protocols. Always make sure to include as many options as possible. The more people who really want and can share your video, the more you share and watch the video, so your videos will begin to market themselves. Guest blogging. Guest blogging is a great all-in-one way to prove presence inside your place. Develop your backlink profile and make some connections in the industry, all of which are useful for promoting your website in the long run. When you write to prominent sites in your place, you put your content in key places to reach the right people. That is, those who care about your topic, and who will enjoy your content enough to find more of it. Translation, more traffic to your website. Reddit, unless you know how to click on it, front page of the internet does not have much potential. For starters, Reddit is a place where you can share and debate on any topic that doesn't go against the rules with millions of users. What makes Reddit especially stand out for marketers is that the blatant ads won't work here. Redditors are a very smart and skeptical group. They'll sniff your ad out of three blocks and drop you. Each subreddit is different, so pay attention to what suits every audience. Do they have a fun-loving culture, animated love and animated pictures? Are they fond of long talk and verbal communication? Act accordingly. Your approach is very important and determines whether you become regular in society. Post thoughtful and insightful comments and others will start giving back. Of course, be sure to read the rules of each subreddit and follow them religiously. Once you have a good time giving back to the community and making friends, you can start returning to your website. 
even at that time, try to do it in a way that does not shout blatant advertising. Seeking opinions or positioning your website as something that may help or interest the community are some ways to achieve this. Qora, Although also ranked as an online forum, Qora is a completely different animal from Reddit. In short, it is a question and answer website completely created by users. As a Qora user, you can choose to either ask or answer questions. Think of Qora as a marketplace of knowledge. It's a great place to answer questions inside your place, create power, and generate some visits to your website along the way. This strategy can take a lot of your time and requires dedication and some intelligence, but it can really pay off. 10 Easy Steps to Keep Your Business Alive 1. Make sure everybody knows what you have to offer. 2. Make sure everybody knows what you sell. 3. Make sure all customers can automatically come to you if they need your services. 4. Make sure you can tap your new customer markets. 5. Spend ample time thinking about promoting your business. 6. Offer coupons and discounts to attract new customers. 7. Be sure to provide an adequate advertising budget for your business. 8. Understand you will get more out of advertising than you realize. 9. Know that advertising is an investment in more income, not in more expense. 10. Remember to remind your established customers that you appreciate their business. Advertise to keep your business alive. Top ways to get over 300 million views as a Google local guide on Google Maps. Getting views as a Google local guide has been simple for me and it can be simple for you too. One, get featured. Two, capture popular content. Three, stay consistent in posting. Four, capture memorable content. Five, answer questions from Google Maps. Six, capture content that people want to share. Share others' content. Seven, add new places and locations on Google Maps. Eight, capture different aspects of places already captured. Nine, try to capture as many places and locations as possible. 10, write reviews for the places that you patronize. 11, update information on Google Maps locations. Creating income with your personal skills. Create an ebook. Ebooks are digital books that can be downloaded to computers, Kindles, iPhones, and various other devices. Creating problem solving ebooks, keeping your reader engaged, and bringing them closer to their goals can be an excellent source of income, especially when you increase the audience that wants and expects you to create great products. It also creates a great sense of loyalty to know that you are helping others. The ability to ask questions of your audience and survey them to know what they want to know about it will help to facilitate targeting what you will write about in your ebook. Create audiobooks. Audiobooks are a great alternative format for those who have no time, patience, or the ability to sit down and read your content. They are allowed to absorb your information with the ability to achieve other goals or activities. Affiliate products. If you haven't created any of your own products or are unwilling to create one, it might be best to become an affiliate. As a subsidiary, you get commissioned by recommending products to readers who use your link to purchase a product. Commissions can range anywhere from 3% to 50% or higher. It really depends on the affiliate products you choose. Some affiliate products offer a one-time commission while others offer a monthly commission for products and services with reoccurring fees. If you find a great program or book that your readers might really enjoy, referring them through an affiliate link can be a great way to help everyone. It's a win-win-win. Affiliate Site Commission marketing is when the online retailer pays you commission for the traffic or sales resulting from your referrals. Basically, they're classic ads in a less intrusive way. Affiliate marketers pay to refer new clients and clients to other businesses, products, or services, often through tracked links 
posted to blog posts, web pages, emails, or social media posts. This relationship can take many forms. You can partner with a brand that launches a specific product and receives a percentage of revenue from your referrals. Or, if you work with sites like Amazon, you'll get a percentage of any follower purchase made through your referral links, even if they didn't specifically purchase the product you recommend. Choose affiliate products to promote. If you've worked on choosing a niche, choosing affiliate products to promote should be easy. Choose products that suit your niche and that relate to your content. One of the best ways to identify your products is to join an affiliate network. Corporate partner networks link merchants and marketers so they can both make more money. Affiliate marketers use affiliate networks to make better product choices to promote on their site. Create high quality content to enhance the affiliate links. Now that your site framework is ready to go, you need to create content. Keep in mind that some affiliate networks require a lot of content, site visits, and monthly views before they accept you as an affiliate. This means that if you have started, you should make content creation priority number one. But how much content do you need to get started? You should have about five parts of HD content with more scheduled later. There are many types of content you can create, but the most common ones are blogs and videos. Making advertising sales for income. You can sell advertising space on your website or blog and earn money by doing so. Check out the websites and you will soon discover banners or text ads that usually run along up or down the web page, belonging to businesses other than the site you visit. If you are looking to earn extra income, you can make money from online advertising by selling this space on your website or blog. Create an ad spec sheet. The ad spec sheet is a list and description of online advertising options you offer to potential advertisers. You can include banner ads, text ads, sizes, number of words, pricing, and how long the ad remains. Create an ad page or listing on your site or blog. Warn your site visitors that you have ads for sale by creating a page with this information on your site or by including a method by which potential advertisers can contact you. You may want to send potential advertisers as those who are related to the topic or business your site or blog represents. Submit the contract agreement. Once the advertiser chooses the advertising options that they wish to use, send an agreement detailing the ad, the type of ad, the length of the ad, and the price. Ask the advertiser to sign the agreement and return it to you. Collect advertising fees. Depending on how you read the agreement with advertisers, you can charge the entire advertising fee in advance and distribute it on a monthly basis or in another format according to how you read the agreement with the advertiser. Advertise in the social media app that your customers spend their time hanging out. A few consumers wake up in the morning with a strong desire to know how to get their hands on your products or services. They are usually unaware of your company's existence. In order to attract their attention, you must lay your net on the water where they are swimming. This is done by identifying the media that the target market uses most often. For example, what blog is your target audience likely to read? Or what social media are they likely to use? Enthusiasts are always the most dedicated and best marketing customer. In addition to people with a passion for certain hobbies, most people are very proud and passionate about their place of residence. Since most people have an incredible need to be a part of a community, local magazines act as an important center where locals get to know their surroundings and the events they might want to participate in. In other words, as a local business, you'll get to advertise in front of an emotional audience who is already interested in who you are and what you offer. Magazine and newspaper ads are still seen as a powerful medium for print advertising. Each of them has its strengths when it comes to delivering a message to a specific audience, and both are still used by small and large companies as part of a coherent marketing strategy. One of the immediate benefits of creating a press ad is a short notice. Newspapers are often issued daily or weekly, which means that any message you create in your copy can be more timely when compared to magazine ads. The print ad is not dead. Don't let anyone tell you that print is dead. Even in the era of smartphones and the internet, 
your potential customers still care about the printed word. And you can boost your sales by advertising in magazines and newspapers, direct mail, as well as by radio, TV, voiceover ad. Cash App Investing Originally, Cash App only allowed users to transfer money to each other. You can then withdraw the money through the company's Visa debit card or through ATMs. In addition, you can transfer money to a local bank account. More features will continue to be added in the future, but stock trading has already achieved great success. For example, investing in cash applications allows you to start trading and investing in no more than one dollar, purchase a small portion of the share of major companies such as Apple or Alphabet, get to buy large pieces of preferred stock. The above features are a great way to attract young investors. Now you can dip your toes in investment waters with the big companies that support them and actually use them in your life. Crowdfunding Crowdfunding is the practice of funding a project or venture by raising small amounts of money from a large number of people, typically via the internet. At some point in your startup's development, you may need financing. Sure, there are successful startups that are fully self-financing or generate revenue and growth at an early stage. But this is not true for most of us. You can further capture your campaign's attention by subscribing to newsletters or blogs, by influential people, or creating your own blogs that include information about your campaign, such as why you chose this product or just a general update on development. It helps you gain recognition on social media where people can share it on their social media. By sharing a blog, this means that more people will be able to recognize this specific post that includes your crowdfunding campaign, and that will increase traffic on your crowdfunding page. You can use social media to help raise your crowdfunding campaign. This crowdfunding marketing advice is very important because it helps you reach people outside your personal network. It would be nice if you already had a social media presence with content on the pages, but if you don't, you will need to make sure you try quickly and gain a presence on social media platforms. The best way is to engage those on these platforms by engaging posts to gain followers and people interested in supporting or investing in your business idea. Video Image and Picture Sales Instead of just advertising your online services in the form of bundles for taking pictures, you can create a secondary income source by selling digital photos and prints directly from your website. Whether you want to sell digital or physical prints of your artistic images or sell licenses to more commercial images such as stock photography, doing this is easier than ever. If someone browses your gallery and sees an image they like, why not give them the opportunity to purchase this image directly from your website? Selling photos online can offset the cost of setting up your website and even become a lucrative side activity over time. Stock photography was there to provide pictures of all kinds of media, publications, websites, and newsletters, and name them. In general, the person who posts the image pays a fee for a license to use the image, be it a few cents or several hundred dollars. It was much cheaper than having cameramen on the staff with all the overhead they might need to develop the images. Unlike today, when you take a shot, you can edit it in seconds. While there are a few major photography outlets, Getty Images are the 800-pound gorilla in this space. There are also a lot of micro-stock outlets. These sites are hungry for new content that meets their needs, and this is where they come from. A small agency that accepts the pictures you provide will then market those pictures in its database. And if anyone wants to use them, they must pay fees. You get a share of it. Sometimes a huge share, if the conditions are right. Get sponsors for your content creation. When people think of YouTube sponsors, they tend to think of popular channels that get a lot of views. But that's not always the case. It is also possible to offer profitable opportunities to beginning YouTube users. It's a matter of knowing how to do it. Brands realize that influencer marketing is a very effective way to earn the trust of their customers and do everything in their power to ride on a suspended train. This is good news for you because it makes sponsorship offers applicable to all YouTube channels, not just the big ones. Knox Influencer is a YouTube analytics tool as well as an impactful marketing platform. 
Many brands come here to search for collaboration with older and younger YouTube users. Now, well-known brands like Xiaomi and Huawei are already on Knox Influencer. Just click on I'm Influential in the upper right corner and log into Knox Influencer. Then you can have a chance to chat with brands and sponsor deals on YouTube. Whether you are a large or small YouTube channel, brands will focus more on the interactions you have with your subscribers. That is, if subscribers are loyal to you, they are willing to accept what you recommend to them. In the opinion of brands, the participation rate is more important than the number of subscribers. So if you maintain a good engagement rate with your subscribers, regardless of whether you are a small YouTube user or a small influencer, go to Knox Influencer to make a self-branding recommendation. You'll probably get nurtured on YouTube. The most promising point of the data is simply that fee-based opportunities are possible, even in a place like personal finance, where affiliate partnerships are the norm. Not only can you negotiate a small fee to supplement the affiliate company's revenue, but it is possible to find sponsors who will provide all compensation at a fixed fee. Most YouTube users don't realize that. In addition to a budget to pay affiliate commissions, almost every company will have a brand budget that they can spend on marketing as well. This is more than a discretionary calculation that can be used to spread the brand message even if the return is not measured as easily as an affiliate program. The idea of branding is very important to YouTube users. Your videos live forever, and even viewers who don't click to reach a sponsor hear and see the message from that sponsor. That other viewer who may only need one point of contact with the company's brand to persuade them to click and become a customer. ChatGPT is a language model created by OpenAI that uses deep learning techniques to understand natural language and generate human-like responses to text-based inputs. It is designed to engage in conversation with users and provide helpful information, answer questions, or simply chat about a variety of topics. ChatGPT is based on the GPT, Generative Pre-trained Transformer, architecture, which is a type of neural network that has been trained on large amounts of text data. The model uses this data to learn the patterns and structures of language, allowing it to generate responses that are coherent, relevant, and natural sounding. One of the unique features of ChatGPT is its ability to generate responses that are not just informative, but also engaging and conversational. The model is capable of understanding the context of a conversation and using that information to provide appropriate responses that feel like they're coming from a real person. ChatGPT has been trained on a vast array of topics, so it can provide information on a wide range of subjects, from science and technology to history, sports, and pop culture. However, it's important to note that the model's responses are generated based on the data it has been trained on, so there may be some topics or questions it is not equipped to handle. Finally, it's worth noting that ChatGPT is constantly evolving and improving as OpenAI continues to refine and enhance its capabilities. While the model is already incredibly advanced, there is always room for further development and improvement in the future. Revoicer is a web application that can generate natural sounding voiceovers for videos, podcasts, and other media. All you need to do is upload your script and select the type of voice you want, and Revoicer will do the rest. Rare. You can make money with Revoicer by offering your services as a voiceover artist who specializes in using the app. Some businesses might prefer to work with someone who can use Revoicer to generate voiceovers quickly and efficiently, and they might be willing to pay a premium for that expertise. So how can ChatGPT and Revoicer work together? Well, imagine a business wants to create a promotional video that features ChatGPT answering customer questions. They might also want a voiceover artist to provide a friendly and engaging narration for the video. You could use Revoicer to generate the voiceover quickly and easily, and then use your ChatGPT skills to create the content for the video. This way, you can offer a complete package of services to your clients.